this should go right on there and be a nice fit. And it is. Excellent. Hey everybody, this is Rich, and welcome back to the shop. Sorry you haven't seen me around lately, but uh, I'm kind of in the fight for my life down here in Florida at the moment. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I'm going to do a separate video on it. But today's job is the customer wants me to remove nine and a half millimeters off of this face. I'm going to be retaining this ring right here. And if I need to clean it up, just a little bit I'm, I'm only going to take you know maybe a thou off it at most uh, I just want to you know make it look nice he asked me to make it look good so um, what I got to do is figure out how I'm going to hold it uh, let me figure out how I'm going to hold it and we'll stick it in the lathe and get this thing going and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all this grease on the inside so I'm not making a mess of my hands all day Well, the way these uh, little tabs here are oriented, I'm not able to get it in the three-jaw chuck and grip it from the inside. So I'm going to have to swap chucks and grab it from the outside and dial it in. I don't use four-jaw chuck very often, so that should be interesting. Well, the four jaw won't work either, because no matter what chuck I use, these little tabs here interfering with the chuck and I can't grip it, so let me move on to plan C. Now it looks like I'm going to have to try something I've never tried before. That's bolting something to a faceplate. Well, these casted tabs, those aren't machined, and I'm going to have too hard a time using a faceplate and trying to shim this thing to get it run uh, true on this surface here. That's machined. So, I think we're on to plan D. Well, the more I'm looking at this thing, I do have this, uh, this bearing race in here, so I think I'm going to use it. I'm just going to get the approximate position for the jaws here. I still need to bring this out probably three eighths to a half inch. Because again, I'm going to turn this down to this diameter here and slide it on. And these tabs are really causing me some grief here. So I'll just loosen uh, this one and this one, 12 and 9 o'clock. Bring it out a little bit. Just barely. Much better, much better. Well, I need to get this measurement so I know how much uh, I need sticking out the right diameter. Well, I called that pretty good. Alright, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up this face. Make sure it's uh, 
parallel to the chuck. Go ahead and hog off a, a ton of this material. And uh, Robert, I'm going to have to charge you for this piece because oh, aluminum ain't cheap. Well, I got two inches and uh, 47 thousandths pretty much on the nose. In case that bearing seat has a slight radius or something from a tool, just taking off that corner to make sure I'm sitting flush on the bottom. This should go right on there and be a nice fit. And it is. Excellent. Okay, I just cleaned this uh, machine surface. There was a bunch of grease and stuff on it. Let's use some brake clean. Alright, so here's jaw one. We're at zero. Jaw number two, minus a, about five tenths. Plus a couple of tenths, not even five. This jaw, about a half thou, all right I'm going to go ahead and uh, that's why I put the four jaw chuck in, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can hit zero all the way around. And let's see what we got, minutes. Jaw number one's at zero. Jaw, jaw number two is at zero. Jaw number three is minus probably three tenths. And jaw number four is zero. Uh, so I'm going to call that good. And we're going to go ahead and take three eighths of an inch off of this thing. Okay, well, finally, it's time to machine the part. So I've got the insert sitting right on uh, one of these machine faces. He wanted nine and a half millimeters uh, removed off this thing. So over here, I've got a dial indicator set up. So I'm just going to bring this off. And we're going to move 374 thousandths. That's what the internet tells me is nine and a half millimeters. Okay, so we're going to move in 374 thousandths, and then I'm going to set up a, a carriage stop. Okay, this is just a casting, so it's probably going to hit one, maybe two of those, because castings aren't perfect. So I'm just going to move it in until I touch one, and we'll start from there.
the casting it's really not a bad casting this section over here is running fairly true and that's not even machined but this section here boy that's bad but this is the only machine surface on this side and that's how far we're going to take this uh, down is right to here and then just clean that up and blend it in I'm going to feed about one thou in using the compound. We'll bring it up to exactly three eighths 